Okay, so you've received your quantum card now and you've tapped it to your phone and gotten your activation code. So when you log into 3XM, you navigate to your quantum dashboard as we've seen before. And here you'll see the screen where you can enter that activation code. So we're just gonna pop it in here. And then we're going to name the card. So this will just help you identify uh, which client it is when you're looking through your list of cards. So you can just pop that in there and click activate my card. So now the card has been activated and you're ready to create the client cloud for this card. So simply click on the button, create new client cloud. Now we're going to give this a name. So we're going to call it Emma. So that's the name of the client. And now it's just a matter of uploading the images for that cloud. So we're just going to select a few images here to show you. It's a simple drag and drop. So for this particular cloud, you can upload up to 100 images. But just for the sake of speed, we're just going to upload a few of them here. Now the system will resize the images to a maximum of 5,000 pixels on the longer side, purely for um, speed of loading when your client is looking at their cloud. So you want it to be a nice, quick and seamless experience. And that's why we just compress them a little bit. So as you can see on the right hand side, it's showing you the last 10 images that you've uploaded. And you can see the progress bar here of how it's working. So one more to go. So once your files have been uploaded, you can hit save and continue. So this is where we select the what we call the cover photo for the cloud. So it's basically the background image that you will see on the main home screen of the client cloud. So we recommend, because mobile devices are portrait orientation, we recommend choosing a portrait image, or if you do want to choose a landscape image, make sure that the main focus of the image is in the center of it, because it will default to showing the center center of the image. So let's just choose this image here, because this is a nice portrait image, which will look really good. Um, you can also do other things in here. So if a, an image happens to, to upload in the wrong rotation, if it's looking sideways, then you can rotate the image by clicking this here. Um, you can also delete an image if you don't want it in your cloud. And you can view it as a larger image just if you're looking for more detail. So once you're happy with your cover image, you can hit save and continue. So this brings us to the first of our optional sections of the client cloud, which is digital downloads. So by default, web resolution downloads and print resolution downloads will be turned on by default. So if you do not want to offer digital downloads to your client, you have to make sure that you switch both of those off. Um, now, obviously you can have one on. So if you want to only offer web or social media resolution files, you can turn that one on. Or if you only want to offer high resolution files for print, you can turn that one on. Or of course you can turn on both. So the choice is entirely yours. If you have both switched off, that download photos on your cloud will not be there. So we're going to turn them on and we're going to hit save and continue. And this brings us to our second optional feature, which is sharing. So if you want to allow your clients to be able to share their quantum cloud, you want to make sure that this is switched on. It will be switched on by default. So if you don't want it on, you may need to make sure you switch it off. But that allows people to share their cloud on Facebook or WhatsApp or Messenger or email or things like that. So it's a nice way for them to be able to easily share their quantum cloud. So we're going to hit save and continue. And this is our third optional feature, which is the video section. So as I said before, you don't have to get fancy with video. You can create nice, simple slideshow set to music and they can be really, really nice. Um, so you have the option to include an Animoto video, a YouTube video or a Vimeo video. Now, if you click on say Animoto and you click this button, how do I get the embed code? You'll have all the instructions here on how to get the embed code. So I've got a YouTube video ready to go again. There's instructions on how to get it on YouTube. And I'm just gonna select my code and pop it in the box here and hit continue. So one of the last sections is custom buttons. So if you feel that you want um, your own particular button to go on the client cloud, you can do that simply by clicking the green button to add a custom button. You can add your own little icon. So say, for example, you just want to go to your website and you just pop in the URL and just make sure you hit the little green save icon. So that will add a custom button to your cloud. You can add as many custom buttons as you like, but we don't recommend adding too many as it just simply clutters up the cloud. And do, do bear in mind that your website and all of those kind of details and links will be in your photographer profile. So you don't need to double up. So once you're happy with that, you can hit continue. 
And now that we've created a photographer profile, we can simply select it from the drop down here. If you haven't created it yet, then you can just click the new profile button. Well, we've already done it, so we're just going to select it and hit finish. And that's our quantum cloud. As you can see, it's very simple to set up. It's ready to go. You can preview it here. So you can see that's the cover image that we selected, so which looks great. Um, we have the photos that we uploaded. We have um, the ability to download both web resolution and print resolution because we left both activated. The ability to share, of course, the photographer profile that we've created. And there's an example of my custom button. So that is your quantum cloud. Make sure that you go through the checklist and that you've ever, everything done correctly. Um, if you do need a share link, you can copy this link here and pop that in an email or message if you do, if you do wish to. You can also then navigate to see all of your clouds in here. You can edit the cloud and you can jump into specific sections so you don't have to go through the whole wizard every single time you want to change something. And you have the share link option here. So clicking that will copy that link for you. You can also see the date it was created and the date it's due to expire. So you will be notified prior to the uh, expiry date of when it's going to expire and with the option to extend it. But it will remain live for three years, so you don't have to worry about it just yet. And so that is setting up your quantum cloud.